Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to review this Space Mouse Enterprise Kit 2. It was sent to me by 3dconnection.com and this is an amazing hardware which was originally created for CAD programs but right now they have support for Unreal Engine and they sent me this Enterprise Kit to test it out and show you the capabilities of Unreal Engine and this powerful hardware. So let's start and open the box and see what's inside. So let's go and let's open the box over here. So we have a Space Mouse Enterprise Kit. This is a quick start guide. Uh, this is the console that uh, they told me about. Uh, here is the mouse. We have a quick guide over here at the bottom. And this package includes a cut mouse pad. The pad itself has very smooth surface and it has a Teflon cover for better connection between the pad and the laser mouse. Let's continue on and let's check this out. Here, nice packaging. This is the mouse. And see guys, in the mouse, you have this pretty nice and high quality box that protects the mouse when you travel. So when I open the mouse, let's see what's inside. This is the mouse and the mouse has power on button, Bluetooth button, it's a laser one, it has pairing and it has a nice smooth service over here. Pretty high quality, it feels high quality. You have two buttons over here. You have three on the top, one, two, three. You have the cartwheel and you have one more button over here. The important thing about the mouse is that it can be charged via USB. It doesn't have batteries to be replaced. There is no other mouse in the market with three buttons on the top of the mouse. And the two buttons on the side of the mouse are very useful in your daily routine using this mouse. The mouse itself feels very solid in your hand too. And let's see what this programmable console is like. Alright, so this is the charging cable for my mouse. And this is a second charging cable with a USB, which is a longer one. And this is the USB connector for our console. Let's just open the console. And again, it is packaged pretty nice. Let me just put this on the side. So this is the holy grail of 3D connection and their joystick. The joystick has a lot of movements in all directions and it's pretty solid. On the top of this console, you have from 1 to 12 different buttons over here that you can uh, program. You have Escape, Tab, Enter, Control, Shift, Alt, Space, Menu. All those keys that we use in 3D, we have Delete and we have a lot more buttons over here. The joystick itself feels high quality. It has nice design and very smooth movement. The buttons are placed at very comfortable position to use them. So this is pretty much what's inside the box and I should say I'm really impressed with the quality of all the items. They don't feel cheap. All right, so let's set it up and see how it works with Unreal Engine 5. So let me ask you a question. What was this joystick originally created for? You have five seconds to write in the comments and let me know what you think this joystick was originally created for. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you guess, guys, what this joystick was originally created for in the comments? Well, I'm gonna let you know. Originally, this joystick was created for NASA and it was specifically created for the Space Shuttle robotic arms where astronauts can operate with this joystick remotely. In 1993, a 3D controller was used for the first time on the Space Shuttle Columbia, manipulating the first robotic arm in space. That same year, 3D Connection, later to become a subsidiary of Logitech, was formed and its 3D mouse journey began. So this is an image from the robotic arm of the Space Shuttle Columbia and this robotic arm was manipulated by a 3D controller created by 3D Connection. And I can mention two big companies that are using this joystick in their production right now. The first one is Boeing and the second one is Volkswagen. But in the last four weeks, 3D Connection released this joystick for Unreal Engine 5. So right now they are giving this high quality space tech in the hands of developers. Alright everybody, so now we are in Unreal Engine 5 and I'm just going to show you how you default navigate in Unreal Engine 5. With WSD, it is just like that. You're navigating like that. Which feels good. It's not bad at all. The other navigation method is with ALT, left mouse button and right mouse button and middle mouse to pen, which is uh, a little bummer. And this is the default for most of the 3D applications. But let me show you now how you can navigate with the joystick. So it, with the joystick, you have all directions. So if I pull the joystick up, let me just maximize the scene. 
If I pull the joystick up, we're going up with the tension I'm giving to the joystick. If I pull it up more, it will go faster. If I pull it up slow, it will go slower. If I rotate the joystick on the right, it's rotating. On the left, it's rotating. If I push the joystick forward, we go forward. If I push it backward, we go backward. We have sideways, left, right. The joystick itself is very sensitive, so you need some time to get used to it. The joystick itself works in every direction. And now when you master it, let me show you how you can work with it. So I'm just scrolling down my scene, pushing forward, going up. Let's say we want to go all the way down to the road. So this is how you can navigate. It feels pretty smooth. It is very intuitive. Of course, you need to spend some time. It took me a few days uh, to manage to operate with the joystick smoothly. When you get used to that joystick, it feels pretty natural to navigate in 3D. Let me show you a pretty interesting thing that you can do. So with WSD on your keyboard, it is nearly impossible to make uh, slowly cinematic shots. And what you need to do is you need to create a sequencer, create a camera, animate the camera, put it on, on a rig, etc. But with this joystick, what I found out is that you can pretty easily create cinematic shots See how slowly and how cinematically it moves. Create that little cinematic look. See how smooth this is? You can create cinematic shots pretty easily with this joystick, just like that. I'm moving it a little bit down and I'm rotating it a little bit. Another very important thing that you have in the 3D connection software, which is very powerful, is that you can create radio menus on one button. So let me just open the software panel and this is the software panel from here. You can select the mouse or your universal receiver here in the advanced settings. You have different navigation mode. You have object mode. If you have a single object and you want to rotate around it, this is the way to go. You have a camera mode. This works like a real life camera. You have a target camera mode so the camera can fix a target. I'm using in Unreal Engine a helicopter mode. This is the one that I feel very comfortable with. And you have here speed per axis. So you can fine tune the speed per axis. Also, you can reverse the axis. Let me show you the button setup. If you go over here, you have all the buttons on the hardware console ready for programming. So the first one I set up to low speed, moderate speed, fast speed. This is only for Unreal Engine. As you can see over here, it is for Unreal Engine. If you open other program, the software will know that you're working, for example, in Adobe Premiere and you can set up different hotkeys for that program. So, so in general, all the keys can be binded specifically for a software and you can create different combinations for different softwares that you are using. The other amazing thing is that if you need more keys, you can create radio menus. Going here at this arrow and in the panel radio menus, I've created example. If I go here at the edit button, you can see right now that my radio menu name is example. I have four sections. You have the option up to eight sections over here. And I've added control P, control C, control D for my radio menu. Let's change that. Let's go here and I'm going to click F on my keyboard because I want to focus here. I'm going to type control Z here. I'm going to press F11 and here I'm going to type G. So if I close it, minimize it, click four on my console, I have this radio menu. And if I want to select F, I just need to drag over F and continue on dragging. Let me show you. dragging and I'm just zooming. Let's try with control Z dragging. Control Z, Control Z, pretty intuitive, pretty fast. Control Z, press 4, F11, just drag below it. F11, just drag below it. It is pretty fast, pretty intuitive. It looks like a radio menu in Maya. Let's click F. So the hardware itself, it's pretty powerful, but the real magic happens in the software where everything is customizable and the fidelity with which the software reads the hardware of the joystick is just amazing. 
And if you want to buy a product of 3D Connection, link to their site is in the description. And here on the website in the buy section, you can see all their products. And if you scroll down, you can find the kits. This is the kit that I'm using, Space Mouse Enterprise Kit 2, including the console and the mouse. And this is the Space Mouse Wireless Kit, which is half the price and do amazing job too. And if you want to learn Unreal Engine 5 and looking for good tutorials, you can go and visit my Udemy page. Link is in the description. Here I have 15,000 students and you can buy any of my courses with the discount in the description. You can learn how to create game vehicles. You can create this sci-fi environment design. I have a course explaining the basics of how to create cinematics. If you are a fan of Star Wars and want to create a cool little environment, there is Unreal Engine 5 environment design course specifically inspired by Star Wars. And I also have some free courses where you can learn Maya in Unity. Also, if you want to get some knowledge of Photoshop, I have a free course for this. So if you find this useful and if you want to support me, go visit my Udemy page. Thank you guys for supporting me. And in the end of this video, if I need to give the rating from 0 to 10 of this enterprise kit, I'm gonna give it 9.5 and the only reason for me not giving 10 is because the learning curve is pretty high. You need to spend at least two weeks in order for you to get used to it. And this is not a hardware that I'm going to recommend to a beginner. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm seeing you in the next one.